What's going on, y'all? It's Claude. You're checking me out again at Mosley Healthy Food Reviews. <laughs> I decided to switch it up for y'all. Yo, here's the thing. So I grew up in Stratford, Connecticut. I live in Bridgeport, Connecticut right now, but grew up in Stratford, Connecticut. All my best memories, all my friends, my family especially, they're all from Connecticut. They're all from, most of them anyway, but they're all from Stratford, the majority of them. I'm back in Stratford today. I decided to kind of go back to a place that I've been back to very, very infrequently, and there's a couple of reasons why. However, I grew up on this place. I used to go over there back in the day. I'm not going to give you the year, but I used to go back in the day and go and get my dad like chicken wings, a little, little drumettes they used to call them on our bikes. We used to ride out there. Me and my family and my cousin Dame, salute, bruh. I see you out there. We decided to kind of switch things up through the years. Me personally, I don't eat hot dogs, and that's what this place was actually known for more than anything was their hot dogs, their chicken wings, their black and whites, mm -hmm, and their red relish. It was like world famous red relish. I'll get into that in a second. I'm talking about Crickets. Crickets is actually located now on Access Road, Stratford, Connecticut, and as usual, I'll drop the address in this one. However, they used to actually be on Main Street over by AFCO. If you guys know the area, then you know, you know, you know. I'm back today because I don't need hot dogs. And you guys know, and if you don't, and you're new around here, I don't eat red meat. I don't eat pork. There's a lot of things I don't eat. I don't even mess with dairy usually, but every once in a while. However, I would heard that they actually have a healthier menu now. So with times that are changing and stuff and people like me don't eat hot dogs, so I'm not eating burgers either. I want to see what they got as far as their healthy menu options and find out is crickets as hot as it used to be? Is it still fire? Is it still the place to go to when you want to pull up and hit your drive in options locally? <sighs> the memories. Anyway, enough about that. You know what? Let's get started. Enough talking. Here we go.
And there you have it, crickets. This is in Stratford, Connecticut, guys. So it's a local establishment. It's a drive-in. And they are known for, like, their wings, their hot dogs and burgers and stuff like that. Milkshakes, you name it. However, I decided to go with their healthier menu options this time around. Because that's what I do. And this is why the channel is mostly healthy. So, with that being said, I wanted to show love to Stratford. First things first, service as soon as I walked in, spot on. Very, very clean establishment. Spoke to the owner, very, very friendly, accommodating, understanding, patient. And he actually went through the healthier options with me and suggested keto bread for both my sandwiches. Okay, cool. I like bread, kind of, sometimes. I usually do wheat or multigrain. But he went with keto on me on this one instead of like a regular brioche bun that you would get on all these chicken sandwiches that are out there. So this is a nice, healthier, different option. And it actually makes me feel good so, so i got a smile on my face <laughs> the first sandwich i had was his meatless chicken sandwich i decided to throw a slice of cheese on it yeah i know i don't really do dairy usually but i just kind of wanted to offset this one a little bit more tomato we got a little bit of uh his fat-free mayo he was also telling me he threw the red relish on it now again the red relish it's a spicy slightly sweet relish that is red in color and it's been known to be put on burgers and chicken and hot dogs for as long as i can remember and this is actually a staple of cricket's menu items what's in the red relish who knows all i know is that it's incredibly incredibly flavorful love 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 red relish my meatless chicken sandwich actually did have the keto bread, the red relish, a little bit of fat-free mayo, and tomato. Very, very simple. I bit into this sandwich, and the flavors just hopped out, and they just, oh! I would definitely be back for this sandwich, and I want it made exactly the way I had it today with the keto bread. Brioche buns are cool. Nah, I'm good with the keto, personally. Now, red relish is everything, everything, Oh, it's everything. Next up, I had the grilled chicken. Very, very easy. I went with keto bread again, tomato, again, the fat-free mayo, and grilled chicken breast. Very, very flavorful, juicy, succulent. You know, if this thing could have been any more fresh, it probably would have clucked at me. That's real talk. Cricket, you got me. You got me. The next thing I had up the bat was the dirty sea salt chips. Y you got to have a nice sandwich for lunch and then you got to have the nice chips with it they were seasoned nicely it's sea salt so yeah you get that flavor the, the chips are not burnt there was nothing burnt and actually you get more than half a bag in this bag of chips check it out most potato chip bags nowadays give you about that much chip in about that much bag this one kind of went about here with the chips. So you actually get more chips in this bag. So Dirties, thank you for that. Now, here's my review on Cricket's meatless chicken sandwich and grilled chicken sandwiches. I'm going with an eight on Cricket's Meatless Grilled Chicken Sandwich. The star of the show on that one was the Red Relish for me. It actually took me back to my childhood and took it over the top. Flavors were incredible. I would definitely recommend this sandwich. I would definitely get it again. And for the price you're gonna pay, it's probably like five bucks or whatever. And the truth is, totally, totally worth it. I'm gonna finish this sandwich in a minute off camera because I don't want you guys to see how greedy I am, but I'm about to tear this sandwich up, I promise you that. The other one, the grilled chicken. Grilled chicken was cool. It was very flavorful. And again, I would get that again also if I was in the mood for it. But here's my review on it. You ready? I'm going with a six. Six is still a solid number out of 10. However, it's grilled chicken. I've had grilled chicken a million times before. The keto bread is nice. It's a nice combination. Light mayo, of course, the tomato. However, it's nothing that I haven't had before. And honestly, it's a good sandwich. Don't get me wrong. But again, I need something to kind of stick out a little bit more. And that meatless chicken did it for me today. So I'm going with a six on the grilled chicken. And I'm going with an eight on the meatless chicken sandwiches over at Cricket's. 
If you like the videos, do me a favor, click subscribe. Turn notifications on that way you get them when I drop them. Mondays, Fridays, 12 noon, Eastern Standard, during the week as time permits, usually Wednesday or Thursday. Today's Friday, obviously. So I want to wish you guys a good weekend. Hopefully it's relaxed, enjoyable, and you're out here doing your thing. Stay blessed, stay happy. And once again, this is Claude at Mostly Healthy Food Reviews. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'm around for all the good food and flavors. If there's a health bonus, it's an added bonus. I think keto bread is healthy. The meatless chicken sounds like it might be healthy, possibly. Tomatoes, healthy. Sea salt, eh. I'll let you make up your own mind on it. But in either case... I enjoyed it. Definitely delicious. I'll definitely be back, Crickets. Thank you again for your hospitality, guys. <sighs> Let me go ahead and get up out of here. You guys, again, enjoy your weekend. Thank you for checking me out. And in either case, be cool on the other side of the pillow. I'll talk to you next time.